What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a slightly different video. We're getting back to the roots of Slow Joe Racing or AKA for those that still follow me, Joe of All Trades, which is working on the 2017 Chevy Silverado. Now, the Chevy Silverado I've had for the last six or seven years now at this point, every single mile on that truck's been put by me. Um, it is the glorified Toe Pig 4 Vader, the Z06 but it hasn't gotten a lot of love as of late. It just does its job every single day and it doesn't ask any questions. So thanks to Boost Auto, we got some new bad to the bone Luma steps to get on the truck. Now the truck's currently running the amp steps, um, power steps, but they are, um, after just a couple years, they're starting to slam. And I got a newborn kid, whenever I put him in the car, my wife opens the door, the step slams down, wakes my kid up, puts my kid in a bad mood, which naturally puts my wife in a bad mood. And for those young guys, happy wife, happy life. These things just look absolutely mean and aggressive. From the pictures I've seen, they are a fixed step. So I don't got to worry about the slamming part anymore. So we're going to jump into this thing. It is excruciatingly hot outside. So I'm going to try to jump into this now bright and early and get these steps installed. Let's get to it. So before we get into anything, let's take a look at what we got up in these boxes. We got two boxes from them. One is going to be basically the steps and the other one is all the uh, tools to get this installed. So I've actually opened this uh, a couple days ago just because of the anxiety. I just really wanted to see it. But these are not just your ordinary fixed steps. As you can see here, this nice, beautiful light white bar here. This is actually an LED switchback. So it's going to work as a blinker, just like your Boost Auto Mirrors would. Um, it's going to have some switchback features. It actually has a really cool startup feature. Uh, uh, so I'm going to add that. You can also add this padding onto the steps here, and you can see how bad to the bone they look. Um, really, really nice setup. Got that added on there as well. But obviously here, you do have to do some electrical wiring. Um, they do sell pretty much the kit harnesses for a plug-and-play setup for your truck. So you don't really have to worry about splicing in the stuff and all the, the more technical electrical stuff. But got the two steps here, got some wiring. I'm going to start organizing this. We'll go through the other box that we have here as well. Um, and we'll get this show on the road. For all other vendors, there's nothing more important to any automotive enthusiast than decals. We pay for the decals. The parts are extra. So I love when I get something from any vendor any vendor and there's decals in there. So make sure, take a note from Boost Auto. And guys, whenever any of us car guys or truck guys are buying parts, send us some decals. We absolutely love this. this is our way to give back to you guys and support you guys. Um, and we just absolutely love stickers. So thanks for sending that out, Boost Auto. We got more wiring here. We got some koozies, maybe get a little drink on later. Um, make sure you give them a follow on social media. I'll link all this stuff down in the description when I'm done anyways, but this box is pretty much taken care of. We're going to move on to the main box now. So whenever there's something as extensive as, you know, these steps of the electrical wiring, I like to lay out all the parts and know what I'm working with. So here we have a bunch of the brackets, right? We have all the screws, tons of screws. These are the bracket covers and then some more brackets. So I'm going to just go laying everything out here and start combing through all of this and uh, get ready for the install part. I first got to take off my original steps on my truck. Um, we'll cut to that in a moment and then we'll work on this as well. We're getting ready to start the install. Um, I still haven't finished the amp step removal, but I'm going to start putting the brackets on and just as I run into the amp steps, I'll start doing this one. So everything is, pr is pretty well labeled and the instructions that they send you are pretty detailed. So um, you have to start at the passenger side, uh, basically for the heavy duty trucks, which is not mine. There's a def tank on the passenger side, which kind of introduces some specific brackets for the passenger side. So they are labeled so this is passenger front you'll see a pf labeled on here and this is passenger center um, you do have to put on these brackets also labeled passenger front and passenger center so i'm gonna start with these two brackets then the rest of the brackets are standard 
for this side and for the uh, for the driver's side as well. So I'm just gonna start getting these mocked up. It does come with all brand new bolts, all 13 millimeter bolts with washers. Um, there's a couple clipping areas that you gotta add some additional clips. Now, because I was running the amps, they were already there. So I'm not gonna remove those clips. Um, so that's just saving me one step. The clips are still in good shape. So let's get these installed. So we are ready to install the new steps. Uh, basically you have these brackets here. This is actually a different bracket. This is specifically for the passenger side. It's a little hard to see. There you go. And then you have a bunch of these. They're all properly labeled. Now, I will say I've already started a second ago and the instructions video is talking about uh, 2500s or heavy duty trucks with the def tank. This is a gas truck. There's no def tank on here. So they have these two very specific brackets for the passenger side to avoid the def tank. The running into a little snag where one is labeled passenger front and the other one is labeled passenger center. And the way that the bracket mounts to the actual cab of the truck um, is very specifically designed for that setup. My truck doesn't have that same layout. So I'm doing a little bit of improvisation. I actually use it to passenger center one up in the front and now I'm working on adding the standard ones and then I'm going to see, I don't know where the extra bracket is. I lost it somewhere back here. Uh, I'm gonna see where I use the uh, passenger front one on the truck because the passenger front one, you'll notice when you, when you purchase the kit, uh, I don't know where the bracket's at, but it has a little clip that slides into a hole on somewhere up here on the side of the cab. My truck doesn't have that in the passenger front it has a standard screw hole, so I use the passenger center, which is designed for a screw hole, um, a threaded screw hole. And then the rest, I have other holes here that don't have threads that I'm going to try to slide it in there so it locks in place and that the steps are sturdy. Um, but uh, that's really the only thing I've seen so far. I'm going to start installing all these brackets now, put on the first side of the steps, and then I'll move on to the, the driver's side. And Since I'm only running three brackets on mine, uh, you just need three bolts on each side. I have no idea where they're aligned on the truck, so I will spread them out for now, and then I will align it once I get it near the truck. You're gonna use the same setup like the other brackets. You're gonna use standard flat washers and lock washers, and then you have 10 millimeter hex uh, nuts that kind of go and hold this in place. So I'm going to go ahead and try to line this up and put the first step on the truck. So to give a little bit of an update on the truck, um, I ended up going back. I stepped on it when I had the three brackets on and I really didn't like how, how soft the back was. And, I have a kid in the car um, and this is where he sits on the passenger side. So we step on this step a lot on um, that, you know, that deep into it. So I wanted to make sure that I bracketed. So I adjusted the, the brackets that are designed for the DAF tank. Um, and I was able to mount one back here. I got one in the front and the step is extremely sturdy at this point. Um, we're going to replicate the steps on the other side, the process of getting the actual step mounted. And then we'll worry about wiring at the very end. So, Whatever steps you saw in this video for here, just replicate on that side now. There's four standard brackets on that side. Uh, for a crew cab truck, it's three for an extended cab truck. And then uh, I'm gonna get that one mounted and then I'll move into the, the fun part, which is the electrical. So both running boards are installed on the car. All the wiring for the amp steps have been removed. And now we're working on wiring these up because though these are not retractable, like the amps, they do have some really sick lighting on it. There's a few steps we need to do. These connect to both headlamp uh, harnesses uh, with the kit that was provided. So I gotta remove my air box or at least lift it out of place so I can get to the headlamp socket. And I gotta route wires to both modules on each side. They both have two separate harnesses that I have to wire up. So we're gonna start that process now. We should be done in the next 20 minutes.
there is two different harnesses. Make sure on the passenger side or wherever your battery is located, but I believe it's the passenger side on all trucks, but make sure that that's the side that you use that has the positive and negative terminal, which you are going to route to your battery terminals. So make sure that that's the side that you use. I'm gonna fish it from the top down and then I have the driver's side one here in my hand. We'll move to the driver's side after. Absolutely necessary tool when your uh, truck is lifted nine inches is a step ladder. Because if not, I uh, sure as heck ain't reaching anything under the hood. So there is a power and ground that go to the battery. So you want to loosen the, the battery. I mean, technically you should have the battery disconnected uh, when you're working with electricity. But once you have that done, you can pretty much mount those as fuse. You'll basically cover it at the end with this, but I'm not going to organize any of the wires just yet. Now, I've opted in for the plug and play harness. Honestly, if your truck is available for a plug and play harness, there's absolutely no reason to buy the hard wire one and be tapping into these wires. So uh, I got the, the plug and play harness. That's what we'll be using uh, for this. This is the wire that comes up from the running board, clips into right here onto this part of the harness. You do have to remove the air box to get to the headlight housing. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. Let's get this thing. way too hot outside so i had to stop for a minute i went inside took a breather turned the truck back around and shoved it in the garage but as you can see it's it doesn't fit entirely in here just because of the lift that it has but i at least got the front end in here so i could finish up the wiring which is basically just done on this front half of the truck and then test it out hopefully i can finish in the next few minutes two hours later so there you have it the Boost Auto Steps have been installed. My process took a little bit longer, mainly because I did have the amp power steps before this, and I had to remove all the electro wiring that those steps had. But if you don't have that set up, you have the standard Chevy steps or another aftermarket step, fixed steps. It's a really quick uh, swap out. The wiring is very detailed. Highly recommend using the plug and play harnesses, unless for some reason you, your vehicle doesn't have support for it, then by all means use their custom wiring, but the wiring harness definitely shortens the process, streamlines it, and really makes it user-friendly for anyone at any skill level to install these steps. I will link the description to, I will link the, the, the link below to the actual breakdown of their how to install because it's very, very informative. I went back and forth a couple times on that video, but thanks again to Boost Auto for sending me these amazing steps. I absolutely love them. But let's jump into what these bad boys actually look like. 